What's up you guys, Avery here. Wanted to bring you guys a quick video about some news that I just came across on Facebook. Uh, this is posted seven hours ago by a guy named John, so shout out to him. He posted this in Zodiac Duelist. Uh, this is an alert to the Yu-Gi-Oh! community. Um, a pro play game sponsored player named Jerome Porter was caught stealing a deck from a shop in MD. Uh, I cannot remember for the life of me what that stands for, so if you know what it is, leave a comment so that people know. Um, but basically, it was a Mermel Zodiac deck worth over $500. Uh, this type of behavior, cancers to the community, must be exposed to prevent any other victims. Now, get this part. This is the part that is really surprising. His Kasi ID is in the process of being banned just to find out that he was using an alias and had already been banned from Konami events for previously cheating. And then at this guy's store, he went by the name Jay Frizz, I guess. So he'll probably show up at a local slash big event near you with a new alias trying to get another Kasi ID. So if you ever see this man, either alert the store manager, or if you don't feel comfortable doing that, simply let your friends know to hold on to their deck tightly. Also, wouldn't suggest doing him because it's probably a stolen deck. Now, this is the guy here. Apparently, he um, did a deck profile on Pro Play Games. Let me go ahead and enlarge the screen real quick so I can show you. So this is the guy right here. His name is Jerome Porter. As you can see, the, this video was actually posted on November 20th, 2016. Has almost 3,500 views with 32 likes and dislikes. Um, so this just kind of goes to show to speak for this guy's character. Now, again, this one player, uh, John, could just be, you know... Um, saying something in Zodiac to get attention. I doubt that he is, though. Um, I want to give him the benefit of the doubt. I'm a glass half full type of person. But I just wanted to make this video to let you guys know that, you know, there are players in this game who will do what they need to do in order to get what they want. Now, something else that I wanted to show real quick also was this video. Um, it's kind of hard to see. Uh, he, has, he says that the deck is here. Uh, this was caught on camera. I think it's kind of hard to see though just because it's not all that great of a quality But Jerome Porter is in the red shirt. Um, you can see him there on the screen And kind of zooming in there. I'm assuming what happens is that he looks at the cards of the binder and then just kind of Swipes them up like swipe or no swiping and just kind of leaves the store what gets me is though that he had a Kasi ID and then that Kasi ID was in the process of being banned, and then this guy picked up another one. So that that's really, really surprising to me. You would think that after you've had one Kasi ID banned that you would just be banned from all events, period. But anyway, I just want to make this um, video for you guys real quick, let you know that this guy's name is Jerome Porter. If you see him and he is at a local, alert your uh, store manager or whoever it is. Let them know that, you know, this guy possibly will steal a deck uh, or has been caught stealing stuff before this guy is a supposed thief. Um, so, yeah, just wanted to make a video for you guys real quick. Um, if you guys want to see more news videos like this, keeping you guys in a loop of crazy drama like this going around, uh, let me know in the comments below. Please be sure to share this video with everybody that you know so that they know about this. Uh, and this just goes to show to always watch your stuff. Um, when you're at a Yu-Gi-Oh event, whether you're at a locals, a regional, a YCS, whatever the case may be, always watch your stuff. So thank you guys for watching as always, and uh, yeah, subscribe if you have not already to keep up to date with other stories such as this.